Welcome back. Well, today we have a, just a short little video here, and uh, this is a little attachment to the very last video we did, the elders training video, and how to console widows or help someone that's depressed. And we got some new light on this video. So uh, just before we get into this, I want to show you how new light comes about. You know, sometimes in previous videos, we may say things that aren't quite right or, you know, they have some uh, errors, doctrinal errors or something in them. Uh, but uh, sometimes we get a correction. We get new light. So here's how it all happens. So this is what we know from the scriptures and from our own experience as well uh, about how the light gets brighter in modern times. It comes about by means of the Holy Spirit through his channel of the faithful and discreet slave, he reveals it gradually and at a time that it is needed. Well, knowing this, then we are not embarrassed about adjustments that are made, uh, nor do is an apology needed for not getting it exactly right previously. We understand this is how Jehovah operates. He reveals matters gradually when it is needed. And also, the governing body is neither inspired nor infallible. And so it can err in doctrinal matters or in organizational direction. The brothers do the best they can with what they have and what they understand at the time, but are happy if Jehovah sees fit to clarify matters. And then that can be shared with the brotherhood. And when that happens, we understand it's because it's Jehovah's time for that to happen, and we uh, eagerly accept that. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, now you know that, you know, sometimes we make mistakes, but we're doing the best we can with the knowledge we have. Just like Jeffrey said, it, it, what he said makes sense, right? It kind of gets us out of hot water. Okay, well, here's here's the, uh, the situation I'm in, the last video I made. I'm going to get into the very first part of the video right now. I'm going to spy on them here. I can't take the loneliness anymore. I want my dog back. I want my life back like it was before. The last song triggered my feelings. It feels like my heart is being ripped out of my chest all over again. There. That's... Okay. Here. Here. See what's going on there? That's that's what's going on there. I didn't think that was allowed. I uh, hear this uh, this sister. You're gonna you're gonna know as we go on in the story here. She lost her husband, and uh, you know she's not that old. She's a widow now. Um, she's actually dressed quite well, and. Uh, She's, uh, they're singing the song here. And this is actually, we'll learn, is, is quite some time later, like a year later. And she's still grieving. She's still having these feelings. And so this brother is the attendant. Now, most times the attendants are elders. Uh, this one looks like an elder. And uh, so this sister's crying or wants some help. She's in distress. So he takes her into the private library and now he's holding her hand. Now, I, I don't think he's her brother-in-law or anything like that. No, it doesn't show that. He's just the attendant at the door. 
and he goes in and he's holding her hand. I, I just thought that was unusual. Now, keep in mind, folks, this is a Watchtower training video. This is a training video for the elders. And uh, this would be telling me why perhaps I had some problems with elders uh, throughout the years of my life. Uh, because this is what they train the elders to do. And so, uh, yeah, that uh, I, I thought this goes against it. Uh, I did look into the elders' book, and the elders' book does say that they're supposed to have another brother with them. And I'm just wondering why they opened up like this. Uh, it is innocent. It's just in the library of the Kingdom Hall. But, you know, all things do start behind closed doors. Uh, just, just in the closet, just in the coat room. So, um, what's, what's the brother's motive here? That would be my question. This is a Watchtower, well-scripted, well-acted-out video. These are all actors. And uh, so they're just acting out their parts. But, you see, that would be part of the script for him to hold his hand to go into the private room. That's part of the script. So what is the underlying message here that the Watchtower is giving us regarding uh, how they're training their elders? That's what we're looking for here. It's been a year now, Mary. You shouldn't be this upset still. We have the wonderful hope <laughs> of the resurrection. You, you must recall that 1 Thessalonians 4 says that we... Wouldn't sorrow as the rest also do who have no hope. So our hope in itself should calm you down. I don't think I can go on. It would be better to turn the car on in the garage and go to sleep. I know this is difficult for you. Please know that others have had similar feelings. But you have to remember in Exodus 20 when Jehovah said, you must not murder, that included self-murder. Okay, so <clears throat> she's admitted to, or uh, confided to this elder uh, that uh, she has feelings of um, just ending her life. So we'll see what they do next. Always remember that you need to stay faithful to Jehovah if you truly want to see Don in the new world. I'm so sorry the song triggered your emotions. We all want the best for you, Mary. You know that, don't you? I know it's... Awkward to face the friends when you're feeling this way. You're welcome to sit in here until you feel your emotions have settled down some. Thank you. You want the light on or off? Off. Here's one thing you... Okay, so you'll notice that uh, I already gave the what I thought of this training video. I thought that the Watchtower was um, promoting uh, that brother to go into the back. But what I found out uh, is that they were actually using this as a training video at uh, their elders training school. And they were showing the elders what not to do through that illustration that just happened. So I don't know what you guys thought, but I think I handled that like a circuit overseer. <laughs> I picked up on it. So I'm wondering if they were just trying to play this video and see how many of the brothers in the audience picked up on that. Not sure. Now, uh, what, the, what they did do is would just go back and they show this part, what you should do. We'll just play this. And they showed two brothers going into the back room later. like the library is available I see brother good nearby is it okay if I invite him to join us yes thank you Bill 
Mary Johnson would like to speak with us in the library. Can you join us? Sure. Hi, Mary. Okay, so uh, I could see that happening, um, that this video was, a, was actually part of an elders training school. I didn't have that information when I made the video, I just had the raw video. And so it looked to me like uh, it was uh, something wasn't right. And sure enough, and uh, folks, this is how we get new light on this channel. I'm going to go over to uh, this screen here. The new light came in. Thank you very much to at dm-he1ug 20 hours ago. And he says, not really. The talk was given at an elder school in 2017 with the first video clearly demonstrating how not to counsel a sister. And then the second video demonstrating how it should be done. Now, I found a lot of faults in the second video as well, but... I felt that she was depressed. She should have had some more help. But I covered that off. But I did I, I, uh, I did cover the first part right too. I just didn't know it was a training video. So thank you very much. And uh, thank you for that new light. And it just comes to us. So we have nothing to be embarrassed about as long as we share that with you guys as, uh, as the audience. So that brings an end to our program today. Thank you very much, and we will see you next time. So keep living your life with love. Bye for now.